What's up guys, Sans7 here, and I'm bringing you the finale of the dungeons. Yes, this is all dungeons completed, the 390th flame. This is the last dungeon in the line right I would have been flying right And well, this time I dropped that snowstorm right there. Thunder God, well, Thunder God is Thunder God. He just freezes them all again right in the middle and just drops all those dragons. Still no, I had about Druid though, because I'm looking there, I'm like, alright, everything's fine. I'm looking down there, like, oh no, no, not again. He would, no, he's not going to spoil my party again, is he? I know all he's right, Spirit Mage, can you do it for me, honey? Come on, can you do it for go me, honey? Pop him. Come on, come on, there you go. Yeah, all right, all right. And Spirit Just... Mage right now, go ahead. Yeah, baby. Druid, one-on-one -on -one at that point. Hey, even a level 180, when you got no health, you got no health. From there, it's the 390th flame, all dungeons complete. And you know what I learned from this, guys? Dungeons. They are the key to the end game. All right, back to the Lucky 7 account. Now, while the dungeons might not be the key to the end game, I am going for 390 flames on this free-to-play account. Going to start with a Skull Dungeon. Oh, the hooker's on the edge because, guys, Spirit Mage is going to be your biggest problem in these dungeons. And with all those heroes, you can get all that aggro. Drop the GA. Pumpkin Duke is tanking. That means he's stacking. And here it is. Here we go. There's the second or third stack. I can't tell. It's going too fast. But that means when Thunder God procs, it all gets destroyed. But, oh, Timely heal from Druid, that was nice, and Thunder God is going to go down, but that's okay. Druid's healing for 64 of 5, I just want to kind of remember that number. You'll also notice that when he's attacking, you're seeing green pop up. That's the life drain, baby. He's got a 4 of 5 life drain, which heals 4% of his max HP, and his max HP is, well, 4%. Uh, well, 880 is what he's healing for, so... You can do the math yourself. All right. What do we got? No troops! I'm using less magic, but the hero levels are much higher than they were on my main account going through. Now, the live stream, which I will continue this on after this video, I will be live streaming. So if you're watching it right after it came out or an hour after it came out, I'll be on there live streaming. Going through, doing more dungeons, doing base reviews, all that good stuff. So, it'll be on Twitch, not YouTube, because Twitch has far less of a delay, and when I stream on YouTube, it'll be when I'm really not talking with you guys as much, and I prefer to interact with you, that's the whole reason to live stream, so that's why it's on Twitch. Now, this dungeon, looking at this one, well, that hooker's protected in the middle. So, I'm gonna use my druid to tank, as always, because he can take all the tower aggro, bring in... The rest of the guys, Pumpkin Duke's going off. He's not taking any aggro. Make sure not to let Pumpkin Duke take aggro, otherwise you're wasting magic too early. From there, what I'm trying to do is give my Reaper and my Thunder God time to go ahead and start proccing on... Oh yeah, there it is. You see Emo, and then what? Thunder God right on top of Spirit Mage. All right, guys, here's the thing about Thunder God and Heroes and why he is so great in the dungeons. It's because things like Town Hall, Heroes and hero bases are like lightning rods for Thunder God. He will come in, he will hit them, he will save your ass, and oh, well, I don't think Pumpkin Duke's gonna be saved at this point, but that's okay. Now, if you have Ares and you're lucky enough to roll that bastard, you have nothing to worry about because he does nothing but kill heroes no matter where they are. So you just turn off the audio or something. You don't have to watch this damn video, go away. <laughs> but Reaper will target troops first generally it, let's say he has five targets he's hitting and there are a bunch of troops and heroes there well depending upon how many troops there are he's probably gonna hit one hero at the most and then the, the four troops one hero four troops out of his five targets if there are sh just loads of troops then he's not gonna touch a hero so that's kind of how it works now this line is looking at it and thinking let's use my beast of a god tanking druid oh look at two towers troop camp uh-uh it ain't got nothing because you gotta think not only is druid healing for that 6400 but he also heals for 880 every attack every second so every 8 seconds he does his 6600 heal, and then he's got 8 heals of 880, which is making me think, wait a minute, this dude's at 136, I've got the books, I can 8 star him. 
Should I 8-star him next? Should I 8... You know, who is the hero that I take to 8-star? It's, it's Druid, guys. Now, Pumpkin Dude... Yeah, I like him at 8-stars first because you got to keep him alive. He has to... If you lose him in an HBM round, you're done. You know, if it's in round 3 or 4, good luck on 5. If it's a wave that you're maxing your potential out to farm, Pumpkin Duke, you got to keep him alive. So, yes, Druid does help keep Pumpkin Duke alive, and that's another reason to do Druid, but... The extra health on Pumpkin Duke is huge. So that's why I generally like to take Pumpkin Duke up first. But Druid is next. And no no doubt about it. Especially when you got a life drain. Now how Druid's heals work? Well, one, his normal heal is based on his attack. So whatever his attack is. And I've lost two heroes here. I'm thinking, well, you know, I didn't used to use Reaper on my main. Reaper wasn't even out. Amortep wasn't out. AC wasn't out. Snowzilla was Nothing was out. The only heroes that were out were... Let's... There were only six heroes. And then Thunder God came, who was just like the godly hero when he came out. That was not too long after Thunder God came out. But Cupid was not out. That was a, a really game-changing hero. But Pumpkin Duke, yeah, I guess he was out. He did help me get through... Was I using Pumpkin Duke in the... Yes, I was using Pumpkin Duke in the dungeons. Okay, I'm just trying to remember. That was an old video, guys. That was way back in the day. I do not... I'll have to look at the date. Because I'm curious now. But, moving on. I swapped out Champ. Threw in Succubus. Figured, why not? Because all I gotta do is kill this hooker. I can drop in this little spot right here with GA. Get all my guys in. Once I take out Spirit Mage, I'm gonna walk through the... Oh, shit. No! Oh, the hooker proc. When the hooker procs, you die. Succubus, well, she died, came back to life. Druid, got a lot of health, as does the Reaper. All right, so moving through this dungeon, well, now it's, can I get flames? I just want to get a flame. Give me a flame, give me a flame. Succubus, take, come on, take the tower out, baby. Thank you, sweetie. You ain't getting anything else, yeah. That troop camp, too much. Okay, Reaper. Druid. Oh, they're splitting off, which, well, bound to happen with all the walls. Druid being slow to get through them. Doesn't have the attack. Reaper just floating over them as usual. Now, oh, we got Reaper versus Druid. Come on, Reaper. Come on. Proc for me, baby. Oh, he didn't proc on the right hero. Come back. Oh, you can see, I believe that is a 2 of 5, maybe 3 of 5 revive. Came back for a little 2100 or so. Now, you can see what this life train does. Druid's tanking, what, one, two, three, four, five, six total towers, no archers though, but trust me, he could take a couple archers, because you can see, he's not even hurt right now, he's continuously keeping right at that, you know, full health, as soon as his proc cycle comes around and he procs, he is full health every time, now, 50%. Got it. Why two flames? Why isn't it one? I have no idea, guys. Some dungeons, you only get that one flame, and the second doesn't come until 70 or 80, whatever percent it comes at. It's weird as hell, but for three flames, yes, 100% every time. All right, so here we go. All the troops, and I love how they actually did get him to switch to go to champ, but when champ procs, you're done. That's it. And that's it for the turns. All the heroes are dead, so this video is... Almost over. Ugh, it bothers me not having that. Well, 332 flames from the 390. Had 69 left when I came in, so less than that. But you can take a look at the HP and the attack. He heals 230% of his attack. And I also, with the life drain, it's his HP that decides how much he's healing every attack that he hits for healing just himself. If you want to know, well, what is he going to do at 8 stars? If I dump these resources, those 100,000 honor badges, and all those XP books into him, what am I going to get? Go to Wikipedia, guys. Now, while it has uh, mistakes littered through it, most of the time, and especially for simple stuff like this, it's going to be accurate. So I can scroll down, and I can find out at 148 star, well, 3,030, 23,920. Call it 24,000. Well, that's going to make a bit of a difference, and I will 8-star him on the live stream in Twitch as soon as this video is over. So, hope you got something out of it. Let me know.